By the end of this video, you will be able to add grace notes to the music that you're creating in MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So I'm currently using the MuseScore Studio version 4.5. And if you would like to add grace notes to the music that you're creating, it's pretty simple to do. The first thing that you're going to want to do is select a note that you would like to add a grace note to. So let's go ahead and select this first note. Make sure you're in selector mode. So make sure note input mode is turned off. So note input mode is this top left hand corner. So if it's blue, that means it's on. If it's not blue, that means it's off. So now I have that turned off. So now I can select the first note. I'm going to left click. And so that's selected the first note. In order to add the grace note, I need to go over to palettes, make sure you have the palettes tab here selected, and then you're going to look for the palette for grace notes. If you do not see grace notes palette here on the left hand side, you're going to have to add the palette, and then you would look for grace notes and add it that way. So in order to add the grace note, I'm going to left click on this arrow icon, and that will give me a drop down of what I can select. And let's go ahead and start with this first one. I'm going to click on that. And now that added the grace note to the first note of this piece. If you would like to delete the grace note that you have just added, make sure you select it. It'll turn blue and then you can press delete on your keyboard. Let's say you would like to add two grace notes to your first note here. I'll select that note and then I'm going to click on the grace note. Let's do a different one this time. So I'll click that one and then I'm just going to click it one more time. So now basically the amount of times I click that will give me more notes. If you want to undo anything, you just press Control Z. So now I have two grace notes here. If I would like to change the note, you just left click it and then drag it up or down on the staff. If you would like to, uh, you could also left click it and press the arrow icon on your keyboard. So if you do the arrow icon, that'll go by half steps rather than whole steps, which is what uh, dragging it would have done. So let's say I want to do an F for the first one and then a E for the next one. I'm going to go ahead and delete what I've created so far. Again, just press delete once you have it selected. You can see there are other grace note options here. You can add a quarter grace note, uh, a sixteenth grace note, and so on and so forth. If you want to do the grace note after the note, then you would press that one. Again, I'm going to delete those ones. If you would like to change the note value of the grace note, make sure you select it and then go up to the top left hand side here and then you can click on the value that you would like. So if I would like a sixteenth note, then I would click that one and you can see it was changed to a 16th note before uh, the first beat. You can also add a chord as grace notes. In order to do this, you want to make sure the first note is input or the first note of the grace note is uh, input and then hold shift on your keyboard and press the letter of the next note you would like to add. So let's say I want a G. I'm going to hold shift and press G. And so now it added a G above that. Let's say I want to add a B above that to make it a full chord. I'll hold shift and press B. So you can see once you have the grace note selected, uh, then you can go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard and then press the letter that you would like to add. And then once they're added again, you can go to selector mode and then you can select the note you would like to edit and then you can drag it up or down or you can press the arrow keys on your keyboard up or down. And lastly, if you would like to add a slur to your grace notes, Let's go ahead and delete the ones I have so far. If you want to add a slur, you want to have two grace notes. So again, I'm going to add two. So I click that two times and I have two grace notes. And add, to add a slur, now select the grace note you would like to add the slur to and press S on your keyboard. And so now that would uh, add a slur. So if I click out, you can see that it added a slur to the grace note. So you now know how to add slurs to the music that you're creating in Muse Score Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely want to get the most out of MuseScore Studio 4.5. I made another video. It's a beginner's tutorial on how to do everything from A to Z to get started. I'll put a link to that video here.